Hello, my name is Paul Tranny. I'm an evangelist for Adobe, and I want to go ahead and show you what you can do with Sprite Sheets. Now, Sprite Sheets are a great way to get optimal performance, whether you're making, say, animation or creating a game. It's used quite a bit, and what's great is I can go ahead and use something like Flash Professional to generate these Sprite Sheets to get this sort of optimal performance, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I am in Flash Professional CS6. And I'm going to keep this simple. As you can see, this is my one asset that I have in this file. It happens to be a movie clip. And uh, I can go ahead and see what it looks like. If I just run this, you can tell that it's basically just this dog swimming. And I want to be able to take this animation that I've worked hard on, and I want to go ahead and generate a sprite sheet from it. So I can take any asset in my library, right click on it, and generate a sprite sheet from that asset. I can actually even take um, you know, multiple assets, select them all at the same time, and output one sprite sheet with them all on it. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Generate sprite sheet. Here it is. We can see my swim dog. I can quickly preview it. Looks good. Uh, clicking back to my sprite sheet, uh, you can see the different motion going on in here. And two of the things you're probably going to want to do is trim it up. So select trim and then stack any duplicate frames. Okay, so when you trim it up, it's ultimately going to mean a smaller file size, especially if you stack it as well. Um, but probably the biggest or most important thing available in here is the data format. So if you're going to go ahead and output this uh, to maybe use back in Flash, maybe you're going to use the Starling framework. Uh, that's using uh, you know Flash and Flash, the Flash platform, or you can even output this for Easel.js. So you can not only use this in Flash content, but also HTML content, including some other frameworks. I'm going to go ahead and select Easel.js, and from there I can go ahead and browse to the folder I want to output this to, and it's actually just going to be in this folder right here. And it's going to create two files. It's going to create a data file as well as a ping file. So uh, selecting export. With that done, let me go to my desktop. If I take a look right in there, uh, here is my PNG file right there. So I have this PNG file and this JS file that's also created. So let me just go ahead and see what this looks like. There's my ping file. Everything looks good. I could actually open up this JavaScript file, uh, but really I want to use it more than anything on an HTML file. So. Let me go ahead and open this up. And here's the file that's created. Yes, luckily I didn't have to write up all of this, but it's basically the x and y coordinates, including the center position uh, for each one of those graphics. The big thing I need to note is the fact that I'm just going to refer to SwimDog in this case. OK, it's that easy. If I jump to the HTML page where I'm going to use it, and you can see right down here, this is where I am instantiating a new SwimDog called My SwimDog. And then I'm giving it a position, which is going to be random, in this case, and then placing it on the stage. In fact, what I can do is I just have this for loop as well. So we're going to take this from one dog being generated uh, in a random position to 50 is the idea. Uh, so with that all squared away, I can go ahead and preview this in a browser. And there you can see all of those dogs swimming around. And if I hit the Refresh button, you can see it. Again, this, there's 50 of them here, all referring to that one sprite sheet. You can see how I can easily use it. OK, so that's one example in HTML. But you can, again, turn around and use that in Starling. So this file actually is using it in Starling. Now, this isn't going to turn into uh, you know, a whole explanation of Starling, but know that I can go ahead and use the Starling framework and generate roughly the same thing where we have this one dog that's kind of floating through the water. And you can see the performance here is just exceptional. Uh, and this is in the browser. And of course, we're working on this for mobile as well. But to be able to get this sort of performance uh, using a sprite sheet is huge because it's just going to allow you for this, this extra layer of creativity that you, can, that you can do using a program you're familiar with and getting the performance you want as well.